So how is it going guys and welcome back to another episode of 5 awesome mods to download. We are currently on episode 11 as always if you guys do want to check out the previous episodes I'll leave a link in the description down below to a playlist for you guys you know just in case you want to check out uh, some of the other cool mods that I have featured on the channel before but today we have some pretty cool mods. Starting off, probably one of the best armor mods that I've seen on the console so far. This is known as the Nano Suit Complete Edition. Now this mod is awesome. It features a bunch of different things into which you can actually customize it the way you like. Uh, from a brand new Nano Suit, a brand new armored Nano Suit, some katanas that you can have on your back, a jetpack that is customized for the armor as well, and that you can also have on your back, some accessories for the armor, and just many more. I mean, there's a lot to actually cover in this, and it definitely is a mod that I suggest you guys download if you do like armor mods. What's really cool about this is that it's actually for both the male and the female characters. With a lot of these armor mods, sometimes they're specifically for male or specifically for female. The specific one that I'm going to be showing you guys in the gameplay, however, is for the female. I don't currently have a male character on the Xbox uh, to show you the male version, but it's pretty much the same. I'll show you guys a few images of the male version. And again, it's just for those of you out there who like really cool armor mods. This is now one of my personal favorites, and although I say that quite a bit, this definitely is up there in some of the best ones that I personally have ever seen, especially in terms of quality and customization there. And while we're still on the subject of quality and customization, why not check out the Mac 11 machine pistol? Yet another mod created by Doom. This guy has pretty much been featured in every episode because this guy continually releases really, really cool weapon mods. And the Mac 11 machine pistol is definitely one to add to that list. As always, with these weapon mods, you can pretty much either find them on NPC characters or NPCs or vendors around the wasteland can sell them to you. So you just have to get a little bit lucky. I mean, in terms of vendors, it is random in your game, I do believe. I managed to get this one from Arturo uh, in Diamond City. But again, for your game, it's completely random. Now, in terms of customization for the weapon, it is really cool. It has a bunch of different sort of camos and effects uh, that you can apply to the weapon to make it look really cool from a flaming effect. You've got the shark one. You've got all these different sort of crazy tribal ones as well uh, that you can apply to the weapon. Genuinely to make it look really, really cool. And in addition to this, it has some very unique customization options. It has a very unique silencer as well uh, to which you can put a scope on the silencer, which is kind of weird. Uh, but again, unique to the weapon itself in terms of customization. And in general, is very high quality and very awesome in terms of weapon mods for Fallout 4. Now this next mod is absolutely crazy and it's known as the Sanctuary Overhaul mod. Now it's crazy for many different reasons. Number one, this mod allows you to build anywhere you want in the wasteland. It completely removes the workshop building boundaries uh, when you go into the workshop mode in Sanctuary. Now granted, you have to actually enter the workshop mode in Sanctuary first, but as soon as you do that with this mod enabled, you can literally walk off in any direction, start building, start scrapping certain items, which in itself is crazy. That's just one sort of feature, which is actually listed as a bug uh, that comes with the mod in general. Now, the next thing is, well, the actual mod itself, the Sanctuary Overhaul mod that literally adds, I guess, pre-war Sanctuary uh, to your game. Now, granted, all of this is customizable. You can literally go ahead and scrap certain things that you don't like, such as bushes, fences, even the pre-war houses. If you don't like pre-war houses, you can go ahead and scrap them and go with the default houses and still keep uh, the lovely and beautiful scenery that this mod actually brings to the table i mean it genuinely looks awesome immersive while well, not really but you know if you're somebody out there who likes a very clean and beautiful looking sanctuary this mod is definitely for you not only does it allow you to scrap and move certain things and really customize it uh, to your own liking which as far as sanctuary overall mods go this is very very rare um, but you can also you know, pretty much place down buildings that you want or create new buildings and structures because it adds a ton of the pre-war stuff into your workshop mode. So you can actually go ahead and build your own pre-war houses wherever you like, place them wherever you like, and you really have a lot of customization in the way this looks to your own liking. Now, with all of these combined, it makes for one hell of a great mod. It's actually a lot more than I expected it to be, and it is definitely one I suggest you guys download if you're somebody out there who likes workshop mode and genuinely likes stuff like this. Another mod that you guys may enjoy if you like the Sanctuary one is Cinnamon Island New Home Settlement. So basically, uh, this adds a very small new player home island uh, that you can get to using a rowboat just outside of the castle. Now, I'll bring up the exact location uh, to exactly where you need to go to to actually get on the rowboat. Uh, but once you get on the rowboat, it will take you to Cinnamon Island itself. 
Again, Cinnamon Island is this really beautiful and fresh looking island. Has like a waterfall when you cross over the bridge, as you guys can see there, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. And in the dead center of the island, there is the brand new player home and a few other things surrounding it uh, to make the scenery look really cool. The player home itself is very neat and tidy looking. I mean, I think it's very fresh looking as well. Granted, you can't build here just yet, even though it says home settlement, um, he hasn't actually updated it yet. It literally is a work in progress, and uh, he has stated that he is going to be adding in a workshop to which you can actually go ahead and build your own stuff on there. But for now, you can use it as a player home to store things in and sleep in and stuff like that. And again, I just think it's really cool. Like a, a nice little small island away from the Commonwealth if you ever wanted to go to it. And uh, when it does update to the point where you can actually build a settlement around it, I'm pretty sure you can make for some really cool things surrounding this island itself. Now, before we do get into the final mod of the video, I do want to give an honorable mention to a mod that I was streaming known as Minecraft Fallout 4. Now, the reason why it's an honorable mention is because, again, I did stream this and it did publish back as a video, but I know that not all of you guys like to watch the streams or tune into them, which is why I wanted to give it an honorable mention. And uh, keep in mind, guys, I know it's Minecraft, and I know a lot of you guys are probably screaming right now that you don't like the game. I'm not a fan of the game either, but trust me, this mod is very well made. Like, I used to be a fan of Minecraft back in the day, and although I don't really like the game now, it was really cool to just see this happen. Like, genuinely, the quality of the other mod is great. You can explore the various different caves, and it really is just a cool little sort of, I guess, mini quest or adventure. Not really adventure, but like, a mini sort of quest mod where you can explore the place, see what's going on, and it's just a little bit of fun for you guys in Fallout 4. I know it's not going to tell it to all of you out there, but trust me, give it a shot even if you don't like Minecraft, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there will enjoy the mod. And for the final mod of the video that we're going to be covering today, this one again won't tell it to all of you guys, but it's known as the M82A3 50 Cal AMR. Yeah, another weapon mod that well is extremely powerful this thing is meant for long ranges it actually has a scope that you cannot remove and it has a very high zoom level on it so it really is just for those really long range uh, sort of encounters and it really is huge in your hands as expected with a 50 cal like this anyway uh, but it looks a little bit too big in my opinion I, I wish it was a little bit smaller uh, but in general it's a pretty cool weapon mod it has its own sound effects it has its own customization options it's extremely powerful and uh, again it really does make for a really cool and sort of powerful weapon to use at those long range experiences now to get the weapon once you have downloaded and enabled it you'll find two of them in the sanctuary root cellar one of them will be the extremely overpowered version and one of them will be sort of like a normal version that is still really powerful uh, but is nowhere near as overpowered as the other one. But either way, another weapon mod to add to that collection of yours if you are a fan out there of weapon mods in Fallout 4. And that, my friends, is five awesome mods to download episode 11. As always, if you guys do enjoy this as a series and I do want to see it continue, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. As always, you guys have been smashing the support on this series so far. Every episode getting well over 2,000 likes. Uh, so if we can keep up with that again on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. And one thing I do want to mention, because a lot of people have been talking about this, my PlayStation Network secondary account, known as 2DynamicYT, has actually been hacked. Just putting that out there, now I've been getting a lot of messages about it, uh, you know, telling me, you know, it's been hacked and stuff like that. But I want to let you guys know, because if you do receive any messages from it uh, for like the next few days, just know it's not from me. Just want to put that out there just to warn you guys uh, that that account has been compromised. But I'm working on getting it back. Hopefully, I can get it back. And I'll update you guys on that in the future. So my only PlayStation Network account right now is Dynamic TD. Just putting that out there again for you guys. But again, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.